So what's up with the results anyway? Like, why are you interested in results? Well, perhaps it's a bit like me. I mean, results get me to a greater stage in my life. It allows me to do more things. And at the root of that, there's two critical things. One, more money. Two, more time. And that's that's why I'm chasing results. I mean, maybe maybe there's other things that could come from results, like better body, better relationships, better spirituality, better connection to God or the universe, whatever you call it. But the way that our society is set up in 2021, money is a critical factor. And the life that you get to live and the life that I get to live at some level is determined by my money skills and by your money skills. Like you get to have the lifestyle you're creating with your money. I get to have the lifestyle that I'm creating with my money. Now, uh, is there an option to have no money? Sure. Sure, there is. And there's perhaps some benefits to that. Like it's a pretty low stress lifestyle. Those people choosing not to participate in Western culture at all and like, you know what, I'm just going to go live under a bridge and, and you know, like at some level, it's okay. Would I choose it? No, not really. I'm, I'm not particularly interested in that. I got kids. I've got my wife. I've got a lot of responsibility. I look after a lot of people. There's a lot of people that come to me and see me as a doctor. You guys see me as a business entrepreneur working on systems. There's a lot. It's, it's a heavy responsibility and you've got heavy responsibility as well. Like if you're called to be an entrepreneur and realize that not everyone is, then that is a burden. You have responsibility to your team, to yourself, to your family, to your customers. But this idea of results, why do you want them? Well, let's say that you do get more money and you do get more time. What does that open up for you? Yes, there's the lifestyle that, hey, maybe you get the cars and the holidays. And look, at 44, I really like flying business class long distance. I don't know about you, but it hurts. Like I have a mild addiction to Maui. Maui is one of my favorite places to visit. It's a good, uh, what is it, 10 hours? It's a 10 hour flight. And on the way over, it's overnight. Now, I can come back just fine sitting there in economy, but on the way over, that lie flat bed makes all the difference in the world. And the cost of that ticket is substantially higher. Can I do it? Look, I can sit in economy, but it takes me like two days to recover. There's a significant cost to my body. And could I get away with it at 20 and 25 and 30, 35? Sure, but over 40, I don't know whether you've experienced this. If you're over 40, the body, my body seems to take vastly longer to heal, vastly longer to look after, a lot more to maintain. I've got to put a lot more effort into watching what I eat. At 25, get away with anything. At 45 or at 44, you know, it's it's uh, it's like, oh man, how much omega threes are in that? Okay, good. I'm good for omega threes. Is that a low density carb or is that a high density carb? That's a low density carb. Okay, yep. All right, I'm interested here. And sometimes I just lose it. I'm like, you know what? I, I, for whatever reason, my kids seem to have a good stockpile of chips and junk. But all of this does come down to the money game. And at some level, you're going to have to make the jump if you haven't already, that managing people is difficult. That if you don't know how to manage people and you end up managing them instead of actually having them follow the instructions, then your life becomes very chaotic and your time gets chewed up. Suddenly you've got no time at all. And in the beginning stage, it's pretty good. You know, maybe just a couple of people working through how you do this, you do that. But when you hit that requirement for systems, requirement for SOPs, then you haven't got them on point. Well, suddenly you're stressed. You will be managing people. And you may well have noticed this, but people are hard to manage. They're crazy. We're like, oh man, why did you do that? Why didn't you do it how I told you to? And I want you to recognize that those words, how I told you to, is a Harbinger, it's a, it's, a, it's a red flag for, hey, you've got a systems problem. Now, let's say that you do believe that your results are actually going to create 
a better lifestyle for you, more money, more time, then you've got to assess that problem. Well, what's creating your results? My belief is that your systems are creating your results. And you might think to yourself, well, I got no systems right now. We've got nothing documented. And I'd say to you, well, you know, you do have systems. They're just documented in your people's heads, in your head, in your team's head, nothing's written down. That does not mean that your systems are not operating. They're just operating out of people's heads. And this is risky. This means that you will have systems that are executed variably. You'll have systems that are not completed. You'll have difficulty tracking what work got done. All this means that your time goes into trying to sort out these fires and your money game goes down in the toilet because your team is taking twice as long, maybe three times as long. You're going to have work in progress problems as they come to you to sort out problems, troubleshooting. This costs you a lot in payroll. Like you could be legitimately paying two times, even three times as much payroll as you need to because you've neglected to sort out how to run a system. So it's a choice. It comes down to a choice. It's like, do you want to keep living like this? Or are you going to recognize that you're good enough to have a systems problem? You're good enough to actually go, you know what? We need to get some documentation. We need to be able to have optics on what work is getting done, what work can come in. Can we get, Can we deploy this? Can we make a decision to say, yep, this is a system that can be executed? And realize that one of your critical roles as the entrepreneur in terms of getting results and creating more money for yourself and for your team and expanding your capacity to run one business, set it up so it runs without you, go again, sell it if you want to, take the money, live a bigger life, serve your purpose at a higher level is going to be your capacity to systemize your business. The first time you do it, it's going to be hard. Getting these systems down, it takes a while. I've been working on one this morning. It's how to take these videos and turn them into video ads on Facebook to test how they convert. It's taken me about three hours now to go through, sort out the logic, sort out the steps, find the details, create the templates, put all of this together. But guess what? Once it's done, now I know I'm hoping that we're looking at a, at a half hour, maybe out to an hour every week to deploy this system over and over and over. So the work, yes, three hours, maybe four hours, five hours, six hours, like it's a lot of upfront work. But after it's done, now the time to execute that system in the future is significantly less. Opening up the potential for another five hours back in my life and also that I can deploy this to a team member. Do I wanna do that straight off? No, I wanna make sure that this thing works, that this thing is proven to work. I was going through my folder of despair and I found a beautiful piece from Digital Marker. It was on their, I think their Black Friday, they were running, I don't know if they're still doing it, but they run like a day long workshop. And there's a quote in there where it says, systemize everything your systems are worth more than the products that you sell. That was a quote that came from Digital Market. I'm like, whoa, what are they talking about? You see, if you can only produce one product and that's all you know how to do and the market changes or your customers want something else or competitor comes in and you've got to pivot, but all you can do is that one product, then you are in trouble. But if you know how to create products using a system, if you know how to market products using a system, if you know how to sell products using a system, then your systems become the most valuable part of your business. If you want some help with this, if this conversation is resonating with you, that you want to have greater results in your life so that you can live a better life, that you can provide a better life for your team, for your family, for yourself, for your customers, then what I want you to do is to go over to systemio.dev, go through the process there, check out what this 
opportunity represents. If you're good enough to recognize what it is, then I hope that you will say, oh my goodness, this is the underlying problem. This is the domino that if this systems thing goes down, suddenly your whole world opens up and your life as an entrepreneur becomes something that is truly wonderful for you. I hope you get that. I hope you sort out this systems thing. If you want help with it, head over to System.io. Thanks for tuning in today. I hope you got a lot of value out of today's episode. I certainly enjoyed presenting it for you. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we continue this journey into the power of systems to create results. See you then.